What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I want to talk about something that most people never understand about poker, and it ends up holding them back from getting the real results that they want in this game. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, so there's one big misconception out there that I've seen again and again throughout my nearly 20 years in this game, 10 plus years as a professional, and that is that a lot of people think that the game of poker is all fun and games. It's meant to be a wild thrill ride where you're going to be rolling and in the millions of dollars and if you play your cards right you'll be the big hero with the WSOP title and, and everything and guys the cold hard reality of this game is that for people who actually take this game seriously that go either semi-pro or professional this game is more like a job so they call it a grind for a reason you know the day-to-day -day grind of getting in there and pumping in the hours and the hands at the poker tables and this is because real results in poker come from three nasty words these days hard work discipline and sacrifice I want to be clear right off the top guys that if you just got into this game this is your hobby you just got into this game for entertainment on the weekends you like to just have fun you know splash some chips in the middle you know make a big bluff against a pro at the table there is absolutely nothing wrong with that in fact we need more players in the game who just play this game with a light-hearted approach this is their hobby their form of entertainment there's totally nothing wrong with that some people like to go spend their money at the movie theater some people like to watch Netflix some people like to travel some people like to ride roller coasters whatever you like to do for fun there's nothing wrong with that and if poker is just your hobby it's your form of entertainment that's awesome but the real point of this video guys is that serious poker players professionals understand that that's not the approach that you can take if you want to win long term in this game guys Guys, I can tell you that having played this game professionally, when you're actually relying on your winnings at the poker table to pay your rent, you're going to learn how to get real serious real fast. And you're going to have to develop the discipline to play the right hands and not veer away from the game plan. By the way, if you don't know the basic strategy to beat small and mid-stakes games, I have a free poker cheat sheet. That'll be the top link in the description below. You can read that in an afternoon and that should help you out. And furthermore, it is also about not only putting in the long hours at the poker tables, often when you don't feel like it, and also, you know, staying on the game plan, like I said, playing the right hands, you know, betting when you should bet, bluffing when you should be bluffing. It is also about putting in the hours away from the tables reviewing your hands in poker tracker for example studying high level poker books courses hiring a coach perhaps i've hired both mental game coaches and strategy coaches at multiple times during my professional poker career i've read dozens of high level poker books i've written three of them myself i have enrolled in countless poker training courses i think i've actually probably consumed content from almost every major poker training site that's ever existed at this point i will include links for everything that i suggest in the description below but guys there is a huge element of working on your game improving your game away from the tables as well that all serious poker players understand is simply a part of the job these days and once again if you just play this game as a hobby you don't need to worry about that stuff you just show up at the poker table you know and you you plop down your hundred dollars your two hundred dollars whatever and you just have fun you make random decisions this is mostly what recreational poker players do after all is they just wear their emotions on their sleeve and they kind of just play their cards however they feel in the moment if they're feeling like they're getting unlucky you know maybe they go on tilt a little bit they start steaming they start you know bluffing and playing a lot of bad hands or maybe they're you know feeling good maybe they just won a tournament so they're gonna play all tight and cagey and guys as a professional poker player you simply cannot do that you need to be able to make the right play no matter how you feel in the moment. And this brings me on to my next point is that guys, you just need to understand what you signed up for in this game. You as a serious poker player, and I'm going to assume anyone still watching this video and who watches my videos in the first place is somebody who takes this game seriously. You're probably not one of those weekend warriors. What you need to understand is that this game, this journey that you've gotten yourself on, you are signing up for periods of endless bad 
beats that will make your head spin that won't seem possible in any conceivable universe. Anybody who's read my blog over the years has seen the cold, sordid history of my rants on there when I literally could not win a hand of poker for months on end. I was ready to quit the game so many times. I have been through multiple hundred thousand hand break even or losing streaks over my poker career. These are utterly soul crushing. A lot of people these days haven't even played a hundred thousand hands in their entire career. And I can tell you that's a topic for an entire other video that a lot of people do not put in the hours at the poker table. But guys, I can tell you that when you lose for months on end over a sample size of a hundred thousand plus hands, it is going to challenge you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, physically, in every way, shape, and form. And what you need to understand, guys, is that this is what you signed up for in this game. This can happen at any point. The other thing that I think a lot of people get wrong about the game poker is, is that they think that poker is quote unquote fair, like it owes you something, like there's some sort of justice in this game, you know, because your ace king got cracked five times in a row, it has to hold the next time, right? No, it doesn't, guys. Every single hand of poker is an independent event. Your chances of getting your ace king or your pocket kings or whatever cracked, so-called cracked, on the next hand is exactly the same odds as it was in the five previous times. And I think that's where a lot of people go off the rails in this game because they get really unlucky for periods of weeks or months on end in some cases. They get frustrated because poker does not pay them back. But guys, you need to understand that the game doesn't care about your feelings. It doesn't care how emotional you are. It doesn't care about your bad beats. The game of poker is simple, cold, hard math, statistics, and odds. And yes, they will iron themselves out over the long run. Once again, you can just use a program like Poker Tracker if you play online poker. I'll have links for that in the description below. And if you played a significant amount of poker like I have, 10 million plus hands, you're going to see that the expected value does sort itself out over the long run. But sometimes this can take a very, very long time to happen. It can take years in some cases. And the other thing you need to understand is that a brutal downswing can happen at the very start of your poker career. And, and sadly, a lot of people actually end up quitting this game because they get a period of poor luck to start off their poker career, and then they just become convinced that the whole game is rigged against them, and vice versa. There are some people who were just born with a luck box, and they win a big tournament early on in their poker career, and this propels them to greatness in this game. But guys, there's nothing that we can do about this. You don't have any control over your day-to-day, -day, week to week or sometimes even month to month levels of so-called luck in this game. What you do have control over is the process. It's making good solid decisions again and again and again at the poker table. No matter how you feel, it's getting in there every single day. Even if you want to go play some video games, or your friends want to go to the bar or that new Netflix show is calling you. It's making this game a priority. It's keeping your mind and your emotions stable in the moment. Even if you get a series of bad beats in a row, you're also committed, of course, to making sure you're in your best emotional state when you do sit down at the poker table, which is in insanely important. I've discussed it in many of these videos before. Optimized sleep schedule, optimized diet, and regular exercise. All serious poker players take this stuff very seriously these days. Guys, bottom line, if you want real results in this game, you have to treat this like a job. You need to approach this like a professional athlete, and you need to understand that the game of poker is not going to be fun. If you got into this game to have a good time, to have a couple thrills, and to, you know, make a couple bluffs, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get real results in this game, guys. It's a job. It's like any other pursuit out there. You're going to have to work your tail off. There's going to be a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, hard work, sacrifice, all these nasty words these days. Everyone wants the quick and easy. But as you guys know, who are fans of the channel here, I always keep it real for you. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. You found this one helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. All the best of the poker tables. I will catch you next time.